Yeah, never thought I'd make it 27, man. Really? Right. That's my cousin, man. I had, a, I had a hood cousin. My cousin was much hooded than me. I was the, like the Walnut Creek dude, you know? I was the Walnut Creek black dude. Like, <laughs> like, like I walked my dog and say hi to white people, you know? <laughs> I did shit like that. I was one of them niggas. But my cousin. Nah, man. My cousin, he was, a, he was a different type of cat, man. Different type of cat. You know, he smoked cigarettes and shit. <laughs> he had dreads. Dark skin nigga, hella tattoos. Ring the bell? Yeah. <laughs> Ring the bell, man. I'm telling you. Cousin Jill, man. Cousin Jill for 20 years. It could have been me. It could have been me and Jill for 20 years. I would have been fucking desperate. I don't know what the fuck I would have did. I don't know. That's 20 years of your life. You around nothing. Niggas. No life. Hopefully you got some money to fuck with the guards. <laughs> Yo, no, broke the jail, that's, that's horrible. That's gonna be the worst jail visit you ever had. Fucking what? He telling the truth, though. Really? He telling tell the truth, though. You're the worst one. Oh, the jail broke. Man, you got me lick balls and shit. Yeah. You're the wash niggas draws. That new shit you never would do outside of jail. Cause you ain't got no money, so you gotta make some money. What you gonna do? Uh, yeah. You ain't gonna take that cornbread for long. You can keep selling that shit. You know what I'm saying? Got to figure it out, man. I'm happy I didn't go. That dude, called that dude the other day, man. He always calling me, too. When I call him, though, it's like the phone that's under the pillow. You know, they're like, I don't want to tell him the nigga on live. Like, I'm about to make me snitch on this nigga. It's the phone he got under the pillow, man. I'm, that's the fucking phone under the pillow, man. I call him on that one when he got it. But that nigga called me all the time. He always called me and asked me about the dumbest shit ever. It's the same fucking question every time. What's going on out there? Stress, nigga. Stress. Bills, nigga. The light bill was high this month, nigga. What do you mean, nigga? What's going on? Nigga, same <laughs> shit. Just because you did something stupid don't mean we ain't got to pay bills, nigga. I thought that you could have went out in style, nigga. You could have did something, made some money, and left us something shit. <laughs> this nigga left us pain and suffering in a fucking bell bonds bill for the rest of our life. This shit's in the family. We got to all pay for that shit. For real, man. Some bullshit. Fucking cousin is crazy, man. I had a crazy baby mama. I told him his baby mama was crazy before he had a baby with her. <laughs> but he was one of them hood niggas. And he liked the hood ratchet bitches. <laughs> Wasn't nothing you could tell this nigga. <laughs> Bitch had a tongue ring, she was his type. <laughs> okay? She had a tongue ring, she was his type. I'm telling you. This nigga Dewey, he was nasty. He'd take anything down. <laughs> anything down. Shout out to Dude. Shout out to Dude, man. Shout out to Dude. Mr. Raw Dog. Yes, Raw Dog Nasty. Shout out to him. That nigga always ate a hot wing with no buns. No buns. No bun. I knew it. I knew it was something wrong with this nigga. I said, man, I said, why don't you never eat with buns, bro? What's going on? And I like it raw. What? <laughs> No mustard, no nothing, no, 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 no sauce, just straight link. <laughs> just straight link, taking link down like that. That is gay. Right. Well, man, it's hard out here, man. You got to work for your money and shit. I wish you could just lay down. Don't y'all wish that sometimes you could just lay down and just sleep? And yeah, your bank account just makes. popping off, you know what I mean? Your bank has to go up, you ain't got to do shit. You just sleep. But nah, man, I got to put on these ugly-ass work shoes every day. <laughs> I tell everybody about my dream. <laughs> you know what I mean? I invite people to comedy shows still. This shit is bullshit. <laughs> Motherfuckers got on masks. Ain't, got no, ain't nothing wrong with them. Got a mask on. I feel like once you get it, and you ain't, you know what I mean? You get cured and shit, you good. You can't give it to nobody else. Why you got to wear a mask? 
They should just start splitting people out, you know? <laughs> if you had corona, you don't even need the mask no more, so then you know who had it. <laughs> you start acting real weird with people. Real weird, I'm telling you. You're like, damn, man. Huh? You had the wrong to dog. <laughs> you know how that conversation go? You the nigga with the mask on? I'm just saying, like, hmm? <laughs> I heard niggas go, <laughs> heard niggas don't got masks. You know, got that wrong, man. You had that shit. She was real. Coronavirus. I was so mad my job is essential. <laughs> the first time I've ever been mad as fuck. <laughs> Like, why do I have to have a good job? That's the only time in life I thought about working at McDonald's. I said, if I work at Mickey D's, this would be better than this shit. Gotta still look at you ugly motherfuckers. Dang, ugliness. I got a boss. This motherfucker loved me, but he hate me at the same time. I told him I was having a comedy, comedy show in the fucking living room. This nigga told me, wow. That was his reaction. He's just wow. <laughs> it was just wow. It was really white. It was like, wow. 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 I'm just, I'm just sitting there like, damn, I mean, like, that's all you could think of was wow. That's some hater shit. You ain't got no no nothing. No, you know what I mean? No nothing. No information for me. Just fucking wow. Horrible, man. Fuck ass boss. He bald headed. You talk about me? <laughs> I know I got a big forehead, but I ain't bald headed. <laughs> I'm gonna get twisted. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell my girl, man, you know, I get my hair cut, you can't touch my head. Don't touch my fucking head. You're gonna fuck up my weed kit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta get my shit sprayed in the front, man. He said spray. I'm thinning, not winning. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nah, I ain't there. I ain't that boy yet. I mean, you put your hat back on. You a mystery by yourself, bro. I ain't got no part of that. That's a different kind of ball. That's, a, that's, that's front, front to green burn ball. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, Nazi. The first black Nazi ball. Dude. Tell you what. Tell you, man, it's just crazy, man. I just never thought in a million years I'd be right here telling jokes and shit. You gotta push for what you want. Let my dad tell it though. <laughs> that nigga. That's one motherfucker that's crazy, I tell you. That's crazy. I, I, got, a, I got a two of my dad, man. I got a two of my dad like two, three months ago. It was irritating. He's an irritating nigga. A bipolar nigga. <laughs> Very bipolar. My dad's really bipolar. He likes to be bipolar for some fucking reason, man. Like one day he supports you, two minutes later he don't. You know what I mean? Like when I first told him I was gonna do stand up, he said, Stand up? What you mean, stand up? What you mean, what you gonna stand up and do? I said, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell jokes, man. Ah, wow. He walked off. That wild shit started a long time ago. I was already used to it. It started a long time ago. Been used to that wild shit. My dad didn't support shit though, man. I was on JV as a senior. Cause I had special ed classes. But well, it's different. It's different for me. It counts. They counted. They counted to my basketball career. Senior on JV. I was the strongest nigga on JV. I just couldn't get the ball in the hoop for some reason. I felt bad. I had to miss something. You know what I mean? I'm faster than these niggas. You know what I'm saying? It's like LeBron James with a JV team. You know what I mean? I was out there. I was the muscle. The motivation. That's it. It was 1 in 16. I had one motivating good game. That was it. All the rest was bullshit. We lost. For real, man. All the Special Olympics in high school, that shit. Real shit. Real shit. The handicap Olympics, they had it in my school. All <laughs> <laughs> the retarded people race. They all race together. There was one nigga, though. One nigga. One nigga had one leg. He was fast with that one leg. <laughs> but, you know, I missed a little bit that time. I didn't miss fully. I ran slower in the beginning, but I burnt him. I burnt him. I smiled at him in the way we 
the way we're going to sway past him and smile at him. He smiled at him. I said, you thought, huh? <laughs> not that fucking stupid. You're the dumb one. You know what I mean? Got on a sketcher and a nub. You know what I mean? Fuck is this? The handicapped kid. I've been talking about the handicapped man. I've been talking about the handicapped. I was handicapped. I was. I used to be. Probably still am. But it's working out a little bit. It's working out a little bit. Being retarded worked out for me today. For sure. For real, man. I used to think I didn't know where the fuck I was going to go. Once I seen the fish tank on the table, I said, I'm going to be getting a paycheck for the rest of my life. I can never get a job. I can never be normal. I said, this is racist. They segregated me. Normal people. When I got in trouble, they threw me in a room with a bunch of pads. They said, now get mad now. I was just socking the pads for 30 minutes straight. It was crazy, man. I said, man, I was thinking earlier, I said, man, if we too loud and they were call the police, which nigga answering the door? It ain't gonna be me. <laughs> All the niggas gonna be in the room and shit. <laughs> Just let the talk and let the girls talk. It was a girls night out. Just let them talk. <laughs> I ain't got my ID. It's gonna be that one nigga in the room. I don't have my ID. <laughs> I'm 40 years old. <laughs> Why you not got your ID? Who 40 walking around with a driver's license? <laughs> You just driving with no social <laughs> This is what you do. I hate that, man. I used to hate when the old dudes like that used to preach to me. I used to hate that shit. For real. My dad had a friend like that. He used to always try to bring some motivation and conversation to the house every time he came over. You know what I'm saying? You want to be motivated and shit. Yeah, man, you know, you should really. Do this, man, stay in school and but all the all the whole time, bro, the whole time these niggas are telling me to stay in school, none of these niggas graduated. <laughs> That's a fucking point. Let's just get to the point there. Man. None of these niggas graduated. My dad said to me for 17 years, go to school. And he never graduated. <laughs> Why I can't pick the option? Nigga, you have one. <laughs> For real. They never even looked at this shit either, man. I put all that work in for four whole years. You get a job, they don't even ask for that shit. <laughs> well, you look qualified to me. <laughs> You're hired. <laughs> it's 2020, man. They judge you off looks. You look good in the interview, you're hired. You're hired. Tell you, they don't hire ugly motherfuckers for some reason. <laughs> Them niggas without a job. That's why, they, that's why they're so ugly. They can't help themselves. You got to pay to look good, you know? What I mean? It costs to look like a boss. Yeah. 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 For real. Got a white fucking neighbors. White neighbors is different. You don't say hi to them and they, they extra angry every day. Like we, like, they got some type of privilege though. It's annoying. It's annoying. You know, they park in your parking spot. They do shit like that. Oh, I was just changing my tire. <laughs> bitch, you got tire oil on my motherfucking bitch. Let me think I got an oil leak. <laughs> it's so expensive on that car. I hate that damn car. My girl be like, this is my car. Take that motherfucker. Please, take it. You can have it. I don't want it. So the gas bill. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you know, one tire go bad, you gotta fix them all. You can't do it like a Honda. <laughs> Motherfucker's a bill. She think I'll be mad or she be mad at me. No, 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 no. Take that mother, please. I'll get a ride. Two dollars. <laughs> I'm good for the whole week, co-worker got me. Ten bucks. You ain't gonna do nothing but spend it on some crack anyway. They said they drug tested that nigga, they lied. Been stealing since he got there. Niggas never been drug tested. 
It's never been drug tested. Ever. I'm telling you, man. You got a three inch gap. You think he ain't been drug tested? Damn, drug test niggas with gaps. It's like ugly people don't get jobs. And it's the same bro. Bro got something ugly about you. For real. Think about that, man. What's the nastiest thing y'all ever did in y'all life? It's the nastiest thing. You can think of one thing, it's the nastiest thing you ever did. I'll let you answer that. Nah, see, you have to be a clown. You have to be a fucking crowd that fucking be a crowd. You interact, goddammit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, ye
walk out the house irritated the whole fucking day. People ask me, you want to go get lunch? No, I'm cool, I'm burnt it. <laughs> they come back 30 minutes, you in the same spot, mouth dry. <laughs> I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this computer work done. Come on, man. Mouth dry as fuck, dog. Give me some water, man. Well, I'm talking about it. I could do this whole little sit down shit. That's tight, huh? Yeah. You gotta find out what's comfortable for you. You know. I didn't want to do like a comedy in front of the fireplace. That you know, that's just fucked up. You know, I can't get no insurance on burnt body. <laughs> Nah, I don't want a death fucking family oriented. <laughs> she was like, let's get this out the whole family. I'm like, nah, nah, that motherfucker gonna start till 11 o'clock. I said, more than 10 black people. That's a late show, that's a late night show. I might as well call Jimmy Kimmel. It's a late night fucking show, dog. Tell me. It's just crazy, dog. Been living too fucking long, I feel like. I ain't seen a lot of shit. 27 years, I've seen a lot of shit. Try to be a pimp. Don't <laughs> claim my life, that shit didn't work. <laughs> she called me a bunch of bitches and put me in the back seat. <laughs> I said, this is confusing. <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> my cousin was just laughing. Those were Doobie, man. He was just laughing. Shout out to Doobie. Shout out to Doobie, man. Good times with Doobie, man. Doobie was the first one that took me to the block. He was the first one to give my block badge. I didn't have one, man. I had a Wanda Creek Cookie Scout badge. Dr. Oakland got a real badge. They stabbed me. They said, You're official. You're officially a hood nigga. You had your first dice game. You sought your first crackhead. <laughs> Somebody owe you some money. <laughs> He's official. He's a hood nigga. That's you. Give me my stamp, man. What's crazy, right. y'all? Give me my fucking stamp. <laughs> I used to really feel really fucking scared in the hood, bro. Okay. That shit was crazy. Cause all type of shit used to go on, man. It did. Every nigga I met on the block is in jail right now. None of them is free. None of them is free. That on the block shit lasted with me for a little bit. I was cool. After the police, after I thought I seen that shit. And that shit make your heart beat fast, yo. We some fucking police in Oakland? They don't give a fuck. They about to pistol whip you, beat you, call you all type of names and shit for no reason. You know what I mean? I ain't talking about that shit. That shit scared the fuck out of me. Every time they pull me over, though, on my ID, is said Wanda Creek. <laughs> and you know what I did? Every time they pulled me over, I said, listen, sir, I'm different. I'm very different. I don't have a problem with you, you don't have a problem with me. Nice boobs. <laughs> Real shit? Fuck that, you gotta survive. That's what they first told me in the hood, nigga, book of the badge. You got to survive. Do what you got to do to survive, baby. So I had to act really Caucasian. <laughs> and that shit worked. I had, I had white privilege for 10 seconds. Shit felt good. I told him, all right, Jeremy, have a good day. I told him, have a good day. I drove off. He didn't give me permission for that shit. I fucking drove off, baby. For real. I fucking drove off. Let's get back to my dad, though. We're gonna get back to my dad. It's the reason why we got to fucking fight. It's cuz. He wanted to do some fucking business with me. We did some fucking business, and the business was about some fucking money. It's always about some fucking money. This nigga got hella money. He don't even need the money. He just got mad at this particular time because he wanted to talk shit to me. So I started talking about his car. My dad loved his fucking car. <laughs> it's one of a kind. <laughs> they only make 60 of them. <laughs> the low part. <laughs> he got back because I said, 
You talk about my comedy. She says, oh, you want to do comedy show? Oh, 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 comedy show. This <laughs> shit. Who make you a fucking blood comedy? <laughs> She did know it actually. She did know it. She just got Alzheimer's. Act like she be good. That's what they do. That's what women tend to do. That's what they forget your code. I actually put that motherfucker ten times in the one day. Ten times. 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 Cameraman too, love to see people. <laughs> Sorry. You probably missed a couple good scenes. <laughs> camera two left. That's, that's why we got another phone. You got it? You got a camera two? Yeah, we're good. Thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I think this is how the camera's in here. Camera one's about to die, though. Camera, camera three died already. All these dead motherfucking cameras. This is your phone. Oh, camera, camera four. Dead cameras. Camera four. Camera four. There camera we go. God damn it. Camera four. Act. We gonna have bits and pieces. We gonna really have to put this shit together. Hey, oh, hey. Real, work, real work. Real work. Real work, man. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Turn it up. How many people are there? A lot of people in there. Hey. Hey. Three motherfuckers and pump three hundred. 
Cause the bullshit is you two better go up. <laughs> it's a motherfucking bullshit. All this shit. It's been all this lives for it now, man. Some comedians though, man. I've seen them, man. They spent fifteen hundred on equipment. But they ain't got nothing, no jokes. All that equipment. You might as well come join the producing team. <laughs> Talking about over here, obviously, because we need more people. <laughs> we need the camera up here, we need the camera over there, right there. Five minutes, 10, 15. Good Lord. I just see how about big ass hands. There's just big hands everywhere. It's a, L-A-E-T hands, okay, to 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Damn, look at this. I done lost the fives, man. I think it said five, seven, six, seven, eight. Put your hand down. Put your hand down, it's confusing. Nigga got sweaty palms. Put your fucking hands down, man. For real, man, it's fun. It's fun. I used to hate living with my mom and my dad, though. They used to make me take Adderall a lot. <laughs> For real, I used to have to take it. I didn't mind taking it when I went to class and shit because it helped me focus, you know? But I used to fall asleep at the desk and shit all the time. <laughs> like, I had like, like, like ADHD, but like the Down Syndrome combo, like real shit. I just fall asleep. If I get unfocused and I get bored, I just. <laughs> <laughs> you just imagine that in the midst of class. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine that, man. What was that? That used to be me, snoring like a motherfucker. Teacher would be two minutes in conversation. So, class. <laughs> So what was it? Take your medicine. Nope. <laughs> Spit that shit out. Fall asleep on you, man. You irritating nigga. This shit don't last eight hours. You got eight hours for you. <laughs> Fucked up teaching. They didn't teach us shit, man. This is a big ass goldfish in the middle of the fucking table. That was my first day in school, bro. Senior year. Goldfish on the table. <laughs> Looking through the window with my dad. You know, my dad was like, Hi! like we got the right class. <laughs> See you. So, you did. Am I done? That's good. Fucking here's here. Camera three still rolling. Camera three still rolling. Camera four. And camera four. On the game. Uh, On game. The Liddy team. But yeah. You know, us live on yours. Live on yours, okay. Yeah. But yeah, man. It's just crazy, man. My dad is just a fucking asshole, man. Every day of my life, I be thinking about that shit. He used to really just give me the medicine because they was irritated with me for the day. <laughs> so he just told me to go in the corner and take this medicine. You're gonna be alright. You're gonna be alright. <laughs> it's about to smack me on the shoulder. I'm gonna be alright. Smack me on the shoulder. What the fuck do I'm gonna be alright mean? What the fuck do that mean? I never got what the fuck that mean. You gonna be alright. What are you talking I didn't wash the dishes. Take your medicine. What the dishes have to do with this medicine. <laughs> Got to the point, man, I started feeling like I was in a real fucking hospital. <laughs> I was hiding pills under my bed. I had shanks. I had shanks in the mattress, yo. Real shit. It was a real deal. Holy field, shanks in the mattress. I was living like prison in my house. Top rhyming every day. <laughs> Just cause. My dad didn't like to share food for some reason. I don't know why. We were supposed to be buying groceries for everybody, but we couldn't eat shit. <laughs> we couldn't. We couldn't touch the cookies. We couldn't touch the bread. Most definitely not the juice. <laughs> couldn't touch it. He tried to fucking strangle you. For real. Drunk my dad pineapple juice on accident one time. It was really on accident. 
Because I went and bought my own pineapple juice, but I got the same pineapple juice as him just to irritate <laughs> But I got the pineapple juices mixed up. <laughs> I forgot I cracked mine open on the way to the house. <laughs> Real shit. We gotta crack it open, man. Fucking open it is. Drunk it. Came home, whooped my ass with a pineapple juice. And poured it on me while he whooped my ass. Like an old school slave. And told me, don't do this shit again. <laughs> but knowing me, having ADHD, I did it again. <laughs> I fucking did it again. So you can whoop my ass, but you can't whoop the retarded out of me. <laughs> you know, I took a lot of fucking beatings. It was a cold childhood. I mean, my dad lined us all up in a fucking line. Real shit. And he took his belt and smacked all our asses at the same time. <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> We were so fucking scared and in pain. I ran. I was the first one to run. The belt hit me first. Popped the shit out of me. Like a firecracker. Had to burn on my ass for three years. I looked at that shit till I was turned six. My dad was whooping our ass at a young age. So you're going to learn, man. This ass whooping is going to make you a better person in life. It really just made me hate him. <laughs> so, damn, I don't like this man. He got one eye. That shit irritating. You ever have a dad be mad at you with one eye? <laughs> you try not to laugh every time you're mad? Because only that one eye get red. The other one is crystal fucking clear. That motherfucker is white. That eye get red though. That motherfucker get bloodshot. That crazy. <laughs> For real. That's some big ass nasty hands. Like when you get whooped with them hands, you really think about that shit. Like real shit. Knuckles all chipped and shit. You got them ashy ring fingers. You know what I mean? You ever seen that? Like on the ghetto bitch hands, you got the ashy ring fingers. One of them bitches don't put on lotion. <laughs> and she wanna put on hella little fake rings and shit. I'm like, damn bitch, what happened to the lotion? You got crest all on that cubic adorn. <laughs> That's gold plated, bitch. I can see the green mark on your fingers. Just some nasty hands, man. I used to hate that shit. I was happy though when I once I first started going to school outside of fucking uh Oakland. And I went to Antioch, and I went to fucking Concord. I went all over the fucking place. That's why I can say I'm from everywhere. Shit. I never claim Antioch, though. That shit too ghetto. There's some shit you just don't claim. Some shit you gotta just leave alone. Just leave it there. That's one of the motherfuckers I just leave in a bunch. I don't even mention that shit. Fuck that shit. You don't mention that, man. Leave that alone. The fuck? <laughs> I'm just straight on the creek at that point. <laughs> Full blast. Full fucking blast, dog. Full blast. How much time we got? Seven? Nine. I don't know. Twenty? Two. Two seconds? Two minutes. Two minutes? Two minutes? Yep. Oh, damn, that was cool. Yeah, man. <laughs> Nigga like, damn, that's good. Real wood ring. Trying to get to the drinks, nigga. Shit. I'm parched up here. The fuck? I want my got one. I met my met my girl fucking club worker the other day at the comedy club. It was crazy, right? Because I met the nigga, man. He was different. He was really different. You know? When you see a buff nigga in a dashiki, <laughs> you tend to think about the moves he might make. You know what I mean? They both African nigga and a nice right now. Walking with this little innocent white girl. They just walking together. Little innocent white girl. He come up to the car and he look at us first and he got everybody. At that moment, I knew this nigga liked to fight. You don't walk up to the females and down. You just don't do that shit. And then he gonna ask us, how y'all not? Nigga, it's difficult. You just made it real difficult, nigga. Sticking your hand all through the windows and shit. <laughs> this is crazy, man. This dude is crazy. Looked at my friends all crazy and shit. I said, I will feel really bad about the lady 
But they was going to get some food. I feel really bad about that lady. Whoever was going to serve this nigga his wings. Because if she fuck up that order, that's her ass. That's really her ass. She's going to beat this bitch up. I'm telling you. I can just stop. Boys and all. I don't get time for this shit. The barbecue sauce on my wings. Bitch, you're going to get it. I'm telling you. Real shit. So you get real out here, man. So you get really real. Yeah, see, just like black people, they like, you know, they came in, man. See, that's how you know you got the black family. You be like, so start at eight. We be the real team. <laughs> they miss the show. We got weed, though, cuz. It's good. <laughs> we can get hot. That's every black cousin excuse me. <laughs> we can get hot, cuz. We're good. Life is good. For real, man. I was so fucking, uh, I was so fucking irritated the other day. I was up at fucking Walmart, right? And, you know, the six feet shit is supposed to be real. Which, everybody's six feet in here. Right? Yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah you fell, you fell. <laughs> it's how it was too many lying niggas in one, in one voice. Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody in the back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> six feet, baby. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ain't damn six feet in this motherfucker. I'm the only one six feet. <laughs> Shit. We got breath. <laughs> we got breath next to a breath over there. Man. <laughs> That's a little breath back right there, goddamn. I tell you, man. That's a little breath, dog. I didn't want nobody to really sit in the front. When I told them the last show, Dina was in the front. She fucked me up for life. She was hot. We both reeled in at the same time. Had different faces. <laughs> she was smiling. I was like, what the fuck is that in your mouth? What you been, what you been chewing on rooster neck? <laughs> she smelled like bad credit. <laughs> Got a root canal in the back of you. Tell you, man. <laughs> you be knowing, man. A girl wake up next to you with some hot breath, you're gonna be irritated as fuck. That's the most. <laughs> I swear, man, relationships and sleeping together, that's the worst part. When you wake up to that stink pillow, <laughs> and you like, what the fuck? You say, Was that me? Was that me? Did I do that to you? Did that happen? <laughs> This morning, you're like, shit. <laughs> Literally, shit. It's hot. This is stressful. It's the most stressful part of my relationship is waking up to breath. I can do with everything else, arguments to everything. The breath shit is irritating. So morning, she'd be like, why are you not talking? Because I don't want you to talk. Why are you talking? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> you always got an attitude every morning. I know. Leave me alone. Please. This attitude has a reason behind it. It's because of your mouth. It's hot. Throatzilla. Throatzilla. That's what we call it, man. Breath is hot, dog. Throat baby. That's what I mean. Throat baby. baby. So we ain't talking about that. We talking about breath. There's a lot of throat baby. <laughs> that be ringing out that mountain. Ooh. Tell you, man. Yeah, good things get me yesterday. It was fun. I sipped syrup for the first time. That shit, that shit was crazy. I never felt like a dopey never in my life. I was scratching and shit in my sleep. I woke up with scars on my neck. I said, what is this? Who the fuck was abusing me while I was asleep for 15 minutes? I had scars on my back and shit. This shit was crazy. He said, I've been abused. I was scratching. That shit is weird, man. That shit had these fucking days, dog. I was in another world. Felt like I went to heaven. I was fucking with Stevie Wonder and all type of shit in my sleep. Me and Stevie Wonder made a whole hour together. Real shit. I was that high. I thought, fuck with Stevie Wonder, bro. Shit had me fucking done. Food was good. I didn't eat none of the turkey because the wolves got to it first. <laughs> All you motherfuckers ain't gonna get it. Everybody. 
they got to that shit. They fucked that shit up, man. For real. I didn't make the greens this year. I didn't make them next year, though. I'm gonna fuck them next up. I gave y'all one in the first time. Now I have to get y'all again. Y'all was eating them greens a little too much yesterday. Y'all like them a little too much. I have to fuck them stomachs up next year. <laughs> Lots of cayenne pepper. We're gonna burn some intestines. <laughs> Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Goddamn fuck. Hurry up. Thirty it's seconds. Of this shit. I got thirty more seconds. It's been great. Um, uh, I'm happy y'all came out. I'm happy y'all came to support. Uh, yeah, this we show. love JJ. Yeah. And uh, we gonna have many more, man. You know. You feel me? Y'all keep dreaming and all that. Damn, when are you gonna play the music over the into? You done fucked up the introduction. <laughs> I had 20 more seconds. Ain't that my mom? Shit. Yeah, yeah, you been going. Damn, shit. Keep it going. Yeah, keep it going. Just cut it. Just cut it. Just cut it. Just cut it. Who the fuck will call you? I'm going to lose my gold. I'm going to lose my little cousin at the grave because he's going to lose my gold.